There's the pipe, guys. I cut the bolts on the bottom, four bolts. Let's get this sucker out of here. Oh, oh, it's heavy, too. It's got some nice weight to it. Look at that thing. It's a bottle rocket launcher. I could use this for, like, a little tripod to stick my camera right in. Let's see if it works. Put in my camera right in there. Just setting it down. It works pretty good. It's just that it's on a... It's on a little hill right here. All right. That's the bottle rocket launcher. This is what I call it, guys. This was actually put here to support a whole computer, a printer for this vehicle. It does have lights above. I'll show you the lights. I am trying to plug the holes. And I'm going to put some kind of carpet in between here. Uh, I might actually use this this piece right here and see if it goes all the way up this way it'll come through i'll put this over top and maybe it'll work out pretty good that way so i want to hide all the nasty stains uh, i have to get some upholstery cleaner i just want to sell this thing guys this is a problem you know i should have just bought brand new carpet for this van and put new carpet in and be done with it all I'll never know there was holes there. And I'll never. This impression probably will never come out. It's just going to stay there. I don't know if I should spray it with a little water. Get it to puff up a little bit. I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do. I'm going to try to hide this. There is a, a lump right there. A hump. I don't know if you guys can see that hump right there. But I'm just going to try to put this carpet right in between these seats. All the way up come all the way back this will overlap this carpet here will overlap it and just be done with it be honest um, you know obviously it's a work vehicle so gotta completely detail the inside here's some of the bolts in a Chinese bug edit so here's some of the bolts guys some of the washers this one was really short I actually have to cut a piece of steel out of it just to get to that bolt to cut it out uh, I still have to get under here and get the bits and pieces so I might do today I'm not sure I'm gonna pull it forward and get those bits and pieces out but this is what we got so far I'm gonna take this and put it put it away. I'm gonna hold on to this piece. Looks like it'll be good just for a camera mount or something. I'm gonna just have it face and look at the vehicle. You know, check it out. It's pretty cool. Different look. Different look, guys. I always tilt it up a little bit, get more of the vehicle. Like that. Tilt the back forward. So, pretty cool. Not too bad. The paint job is going back to rust. I just, I don't know why, guys. It's the rain or something. The dirt is getting on there. Let's check the other tire. This one's still like the rust alone isn't doing its job we're gonna have to repaint this tire I had to check the other ones too all right I'm gonna get rid of this stuff there we go guys holes are gone looks much nicer now looks much better without the pipe you can actually get between here and move around from side to side driver's side the passenger side whatever if you're thin enough you can come into the back here sit down whatever get something out of the back you know um the markings are still here though but that'll once i vacuum that should come out 
and I think that's gonna look good. It looks a little stupid right here till this gets more matted down. I think it's gonna be good guys. And if they do lift that up and look under there, I'm just gonna stay. There was a pipe there to support the computer system. I had to take it out, move the mat there instead of in the back. So there's no sense of it being back here because there's no back seats. If they want to change that in the future, they could always do that. It doesn't that doesn't matter once it's in their name. I gotta move a lot of stuff out of here, guys. Alright guys, just, just to let you know, this grinder with the cutoff wheel here worked excellent, superb. Once you use it, it's really good. It's got some weight to it. It's a good uh grinder cutoff. It's got power behind it, so it's gonna cut fairly quick. It did the job pretty quick, being that I had to hold it up in the air and try to get some bolts off and cut them. So I can remove that pipe in the center there. I'm going to show you a close up of that pipe. By the way, this is a shower drill. I got this on Amazon. It's like $42 with tax, something like that. It comes complete. You got two different shields. You got the shield for the cutoff wheel. You got the shield for the grinder wheels. You get three cutoff wheels with it. You get the tool, you get the sticker, you get the elements right there. Electrode, whatever they are. And you get three grinders. Good deal, guys. Did the job for me. I couldn't film taking the bolts off because I was like laying on my back. I had one hand under there holding that grinder up trying to get the job done. So it was a bit difficult, but I did manage to get it done. And let's go remove the pipe. And with that said, guys, I did order a few things. It's coming. I'm going to do an unboxing on those things coming. It has to do with the vehicle. And I'm also going to look into buying some detail and stuff for the inside. Some uh, upholstery cleaner dash cleaner dash polisher all that kind of stuff and see if i could get that stuff see if i could get that stuff to come soon and see how it goes guys peace thanks for watching see you on the next video guys